Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and we went to the Monster Mania convention at the Mahoning Valley Drive-In in Lehighton, Pennsylvania. <laughs> this past weekend, which was actually Halloween, fell directly on Halloween on Saturday. They had it both Friday and Saturday, but because we both work, we decided to go for Saturday. actually was the better option I feel because Friday was literally just all rain and you could still feel it a lot in the grass. They had all the vendors set up under the big screen where they show movies and it was just a, a squishy squashy time there and I felt really bad you know if you're vending how are you gonna put your stuff out all the way if it's just pouring down rain but we were talking to some of the vendors and they said that there were more of them on Friday than there were Saturday, so that was kind of a bummer, but like, I get it. They were probably just like over it at that point, but this was the first outdoor convention that we've gone to. I think this might be the first outdoor convention that Monster Mania has done, and you know, due to recent events with the pandemic and trying to implement social distancing and just keeping everyone as safe as possible. They made a really awesome decision to try this, you know, outside with guests, with vendors, and then with a movie, like, well, two movies. How could you go wrong with that? And I felt like everyone was very respectful. Um, no one really crowded you. They had hand sanitizer set up at all of the, uh, like, vendors' tables. It was awesome. And, uh, we, we genuinely really did have a good time. On Friday, I think they played Creep Show and uh, from Dusk Till Dawn, and then on Saturday they played the OG Halloween and then Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. So obviously really good choices as the guest stars were Tom Savini and Sandy Johnson. So very like, this is what we needed. We really needed this it's been such a hard year for everyone. I work in healthcare and I am so burnt out and so sad and angry all the time. And I just needed like a little break of something that felt normal. Like literally the perfect, like Saturday, Halloween, full moon, Mer Mercury's in retrograde, maybe not that one, but like all of the perfect things that happen in a time when you're not really supposed to do anything because you're trying to keep safe and keep others safe. But I'm, I'm so glad that they did this and I'm so glad that, you know, I bought tickets in time. Both nights were sold out and I'm really glad that I was able to do that. Um, November 2nd is our seventh wedding anniversary. So I wanted to get tickets and have us do something fun together, you know, because what what else are we going to do? We're not going to go out to dinner or like go to a hotel in Baltimore or anything just because it's it's just not safe right now. And I have a horrific eye procedure uh, scheduled for November 3rd, so I'm going to be out of commission for quite some time. So I wanted to get like a little like last hurrah, I suppose, before, you know, that. So we obviously got our... Uh, picture with Tom Savini and that that was the first time the groom got to meet him. I've met him several times before and like always gush about how big of a fan I am and he's probably like yeah 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 but he was really nice. Um, we got a picture with him of course in the middle is Dr. Tong from Day of the Dead to help promote social distancing. I think we threw off his assistant just a little bit because everyone was doing selfies and we pull out our camera and she's like Oh, <laughs> but she was very cool. She took her pictures. Um, we didn't meet Sandy Johnson, but we did get to like sneak a peek at her and she looked like she was having a great time. There was a really good uh, fan response. There were a lot of people. I'm so glad it sold out. Like I can't say enough like how happy I am that this was a successful convention. Um, 
now that I'm thinking about it, I do believe the horror sideshow market did one in the parking lot of one of the venues they've done before. We missed that because we didn't, you know, see any of the advertising beforehand. And it was one of those things like I realized while I was at work, working a 12 hour day, like right smack dab in the middle, like, oh, well, maybe I wouldn't have picked up overtime had I known that was happening, but that's my bad. Um, really good vendors. There were some that we've seen before. I think there were like two we've seen before, um, which was, uh, Backwoods and I can't remember the other artist, but I bought a bunch of magnets from him before. So we got a sticker from Backwoods, of course, very cute designs. Um, we found this, this new vendor we hadn't seen before. Brutalities. Really, really, really nice, awesome people. I love tea. I love coffee. I love caffeine. I have, I might have a problem, but I ended up buying a bunch of tea from them. I think it was like three bags for 20. So that's like a really good deal. And everything just like has the cutest names, like Chai Day the 13th. Like, how could you not? Like, This one sounds amazing, the chalkwork orange, because there's chocolate and obviously orange in here. And it's like, I took a whiff of this in the car and we were just like, can we just roll that up and smoke it? Because it smells so good. Like, I just want that. And like, how could you not? That's so cute. Night of the Living Red Apple. And they are all loose teas. They had um, a bunch of the, the, the bags for the loose tea for sale, the infusers for sale, like really cute tins, everything. They have a website. We're going to post all the socials of the, the shops that we either bought from or, um, recorded footage just to get them exposure because I want every, you know, artist and small business to thrive, especially in this climate. They need it. So please check them out. Uh, this table, which was horror gods. We hadn't seen them before either. And like super, super nice guys. Like we're chatty. We're talking about all of their products, you know, just explaining what everything is. They were, you know, explaining that all of the tie dyes, everyone is unique because they do, you know, make all of them. They don't buy them in bulk and then screen print their images on it, which like I regret not getting a tie dye from them because they looked so bomb. But it was just like very, very, very cold. I was shivering and because of my, my eye stuff, when my eyes get too dry, they hurt. So we had to keep, you know, taking breaks, going back to the car and everything. Because as I said, everything was completely outdoors. But I think I'm going to go uh, see if I can find their website, order me a tie-dye, showcase it in one of the videos. Like really beautiful work. And they were like super chill, super nice guys. Really glad we got to meet them. Um, did I need this? No. Did I need this? I might have. Ugh. Like it's a tissue box. Oh my God. This is possibly like the coolest thing that we saw there. Who doesn't need this? Like as big of a Clive Barker fan as I am, I needed this. This needed to come home with me. I cannot remember the name of the vendor, but we're going to put in footage of their table and put their uh, info down below. I can't wait. Like, I literally have a tissue box that will fit in this. I'm going to use this so much. I have such bad allergies, but like the craftsmanship on this is gorgeous and it feels really sturdy and I'm hoping that my cats don't just like freak out and rip all the tissues out and try to knock it over because that would be uncool. And because we got that, because it was, you know, spend so much and then you get a cup. So we now have a cup for Crystal Lake. I kind of want to put this in my bathroom, like put toothbrushes in it because it's real cute. 
But then, like, I also don't even want anyone to touch it because I want it to remain pristine forever. And it's adorable. I love that so much. Okay. From Pizza Party. My um, house t-shirt is actually from Pizza Party. I got that at the Archive in Connecticut. And I'd never seen them at a con before. And um, if you know me, you know how much I love street trash. So, oh my god. Look at how beautiful this is. I cannot wait to wear this. It smells like new t-shirt, like at a concert, which I love so much. And there's even, I had to get the long sleeve because of the Viper design on the sleeve. It's so cool. I hope you can see that okay. I cannot wait to wash this and wear this as soon as possible. The love that I have for this movie runs so deep. And now I can wear my street trash t-shirt and just watch the movie and be the piece of trash I was always meant to be, I guess. Um, and we have more backwood stickers. They gave us a lot of stickers, which is really exciting. Also, with, um, I think this is where the, the tissue box is from, I think. It's a magnet, and I love magnets. So I'm really excited about that. I shouldn't be that excited about magnets, but I am. They're mystical. They're wonderful. From the booth that we got the blind box that I unboxed uh, while we were standing there and probably like just taking up space. Yeah, that mainly because sometimes they do free stuff, so you don't want to. All right, open your blind box, blind girl. Keep on creeping on. So there's a Biden joke in Oh there. my god. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. That is an awesome pen. Is that, is that, is that a temp, is that a, oh my god, that is a temporary. That's, that's so cute. Great. What's the other thing? Come on, we do, unbo we do unboxings like two, three times a month. Is it upside down? Ki, 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 ma, ma, ma. <laughs> nope. 20% off one item. Okay. Look at that. Alright. Winner! Big winner here! But they were like really, really cool. Like, we swapped meatloaf recipes and like we went up first to kind of browse and then went back to the car and then came back and we were filming their table and like just got to talking and they were really, really cool. And I was like, should we just be like, hey, do you guys want to be friends? Like, how do adults make friends? I don't know. I don't even know how children make friends. So I did get that 20% off voucher and I saw this sweatshirt and I could not pass it up. Like, look at what the candy corn says. Everybody hates me, but I still love you. That's adorable. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of candy corn. I like the pumpkins, which I'm pretty sure are just, like, literally what candy corn are. But for some reason, I'm like, th that's better. And this is all embroidered. Like, this is really, really, really nice. And it feels like it's gonna, you know, hold up really well. And it's soft. And I can't wait to wear this um, tomorrow. It's really freaking cold and I need to be snuggly and know that a piece of candy corn still likes me even though I don't, I don't like it. But yeah, that's, I think that's all the stuff I got. I didn't go crazy or anything, but I kind of like to set a, a budget. Whatever I have in cash is kind of what goes towards uh, what I buy at the convention. It's you know, I save up my, my tips from my one job and, and that's my convention money. And since we haven't really had any conventions, like I had, I had a decent amount that I could just spend on bullshit that makes me happy. But yeah, so they're, uh, they had like a little itinerary set up that, you know, at one o'clock doors open, vendors are set up. And then I think it was like two o'clock, you know, they let you know that Sandy and Tom are ready and they're, they had the concession stand kind of like all decked out around it. 
Um, there was like a little mock-up of the Halloween house and there was this really cool thing with pumpkins and it was awesome. We got footage of it and of course Fluffy was just hanging out in a box. waiting for you and initially when we walked through it was just like you know a stuffed fluffy just sitting there and then I'm looking at this zombie that was an animatronic and I was like oh that's cool fluffy just moved and of course I told the groom and he's like no, that he didn't move I was like I understand I'm visually impaired but like it moved and we're watching it it's it's someone like in the costume just like ha and it was awesome. It made me so happy. We got really cute videos of that. I got really cute videos on Snapchat and sent it to people who have probably never seen Creep Show that were like, aw. <laughs> but we, uh, I don't think, no, we didn't watch the pet parade because it was too cold, which was kind of a bummer because there was a cat dressed up who we got footage of in the costume contest. So pet parade, adorable. Then they did a costume contest. And, you know, rather than have people all crowded up staring, they projected it onto the, uh, the movie screen, which was awesome. And we'll take the next contestant, out. first contestant for the adults. Here we go. Hi, how are you? <laughs> uh, your name is? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Momo, and your character's name is? This is the Momo Lisa. That's good. That's amazing. Let's hear it for the Momo Lisa. Woo! Thank you, Momo. How do you see that? Okay, we'll bring up the next contestant. <laughs> oh, what a lovely show. There we go. With the next duo, your names are? Awesome. Lydia. Okay, this is Buzz and Lydia, and their characters' names are? Okay, this is Buzz and Lydia as Beetlejuice and Lydia. Buzz's girlfriend. Let's hear it for Beetlejuice and Lydia. Woo! Thank you, guys. Thank I you. Did, I didn't Good think she you. was wearing a costume. Okay, we have a duo or a trio. We have a trio. <gasps> Winner. Uh, your names are? Oh. This is Sheila. This is Diego and... You Aww. Couldn't time that. Did you squeeze her or something? The cat meowed. Let's Aww. try this again. And your name is? <laughs> that was amazing. She's over it now. Uh, what's her name? Her name is Molly? Okay. I'm Aww. Sorry. Winner. Sheila, Diego, and Molly. That, that, was, that was amazing. Uh, your characters are? Aww. Okay, this is Chuck and the pie maker from Pushing Daisies and the pie. Oh and the gosh. pie hisses. The pie Let's is hear so it cute. For the hissing pie and the pie makers. <gasps> Woo! Okay, our next contestant, your name is? Option Pratt. Option Pratt. Gotta hurry up, but I got a goddamn cockroach problem. <laughs> I see. <laughs> this is Option Pratt, and your character is? Option Pratt from Creep Show. Opson Pratt from Creep Show. Let's hear it for the buggy guy from Creep Show. Woo! Okay, another duo. And your real names are? Michael and. 
see it at Monster Mania, what we do. You're lucky my sons aren't here. When when we have a silent contestant, we just start naming them. Uh, we had Jake from State Farm one year. <laughs> we came up with all these other names. But for tonight, we're going with Michael and the silent person. And your characters are? Michael. Their characters are Michael and the shape. Let's hear it for Michael and the shape. Woo! Thank you guys. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Uh, your name, real name? Aaron. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Aaron. And Aaron's character is? The Bride of Chucky. Woo! The Bride of Chucky. That's good, I like it. Let's hear it for Aaron as the Bride of Chucky. Ow, ow! Wow, that looks awesome. Uh, your name, your real name? Sheila. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sheila, and Sheila's character is? The Driller Killer from Slumber Party Massacre 2. Woo! Hello, your real name is? Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris. Don't mean too close to him. And Chris's character is? I'm a black skull from Mandy. He's this guy's in a horror community Mandy. group with me on Facebook, Let's and he's for Chris, awesome. Black skull. Woo! Okay, your real name? Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brian, and Brian's character is? Scarecrow from Arkham Knight video game. Brian is the Scarecrow from the Arkham Knight video game. And your name would be? Angie. This is Angie, and her character is? Sam from Trick or Treat. Angie is Sam from Trick or Treat. Yeah, Let's hear it for treat. Angie. Another duo. Hi, how are you? Uh, your name? Gabby. This is Gabby, and your name? Ken. This is Gabby and Ken, and your characters are? Ripley. And I'm Face. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, this is Ripley and Space Alien. Let's hear it for Ripley. Virgil, should you be in the booth playing records or something? <sighs> Okay, uh, your name is? Uh, Grant. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Grant, and Grant's character would be? Exterminator from Zardoz. Hey, Grant is the Exterminator from Zardoz. And our next contestant? Uh, your name, sir? Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Clark, and Clark's character is? I'm just Clarkin. He's just Clarkin. Oi. Your names would be? Karen. This is Karen and? This is Karen and Emmett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Amanda. And Amanda's character is? Dr. Clara Mandrake from The Crows Have Eyes 3, The Crow and Egg. <laughs> you heard that. That's <laughs> amazing. Read all that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bill. And Bill's character is? I'm the MC from Hocus Pocus. Bill is the nice. MC from Hocus Pocus. Woo! Would be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is John, and John's other partner in the duo is? Barry. This is John and Barry, and your characters are from? The May Queen from Midsummer. He's the May <coughs> Queen from Midsummer. He's dressed like an old friend of mine. Uh, your name? Matt. Another duo? <laughs> uh, your names are? I'm Kendall. This is Kendall and this is Matt, and their characters are? I'm Bob Ross. He's Bob Ross, and she? I'm his happy little tree. Hi, your name is? Emma. This is Emma, and Emma's character is? The dollar store version of the May Queen. <laughs> Emma is the dollar store version Woo! of the May Queen. Hi, your name is? My name's Randy. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Randy, and his character would be? Toast Malone, bro. <laughs> Toast Malone, bro. That's for Toast Malone. Woo! I'm good. Your name is? Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex. You can face so they can see. And your character would be? Amanda Young from Saw. This is Amanda from Saw. Let's hear it for Alex as Amanda from Woo! Saw. Okay, we'll bring all the contestants up so we can 
feature your costumes on the big screen while the judges deliberate. But the winners, by unanimous decision, I'm sorry, are the Midsummer Couple. Yes! Yeah. Woo! Thank you again. We really appreciate all the hard work you guys put into those costumes. My costumes queen! Costumes look great. So, after the costume contest, and we're really, like, that was just amazing. And seeing these people walk around in costume was also amazing. And I'm so glad that the May Queen won because they really put, like, a ton of effort into it. The video just doesn't do the costume justice. So, then next up, you know, they had uh, a, a few nice words to say to the convention goers, to Virgil, who runs the Mahoning Drive-In, and just, like, voicing some frustrations about the pandemic, but giving hope that, you know, this, this too will pass and things will somewhat go back to what we remember. You know, it's never going to be normal, but it'll be better, hopefully. And uh, they rolled on with a Tom and Jerry cartoon, which would never fly in uh, current times. Just the things that were happening in it, you were just like, oh, wow, like things used to be a lot different. And then on to Halloween, which we watched. And that's always like the best time to watch that movie. I just feel like there's something magical about watching John Carpenter's OG Halloween on Halloween. But we then had to drive home because we didn't want our dog to explode and uh, ended up watching Halloween 3 at home rather than watching it on the big screen just to keep enjoying the holiday and having, you know, I just, I get so sad when Halloween's over because it's literally the best holiday. Like you don't have any obligations to do anything or be anywhere. You can just do whatever you want, dress up however you want. It's always a fun time. I just, uh, I love it so much.
now november 1st and i guess i don't know i'm just sad but i had such a great time the groom had such a great time i'm so glad that he you know wanted to go and was so gracious to film and smile I hope he had as much of a blast as I did and happy anniversary, my love. Uh, it's been seven years and that's, that's pretty awesome. I mean, married for seven years, but like we've been together for a while, but that's about it. I want to thank Monster Mania for existing and Mahoning Valley Drive-In for allowing a bunch of weirdos in costumes to kind of take over. It was such a good time and I can't wait till it gets a little warmer and we could possibly do it again, but I'll keep my eye out for all upcoming conventions once I'm all healed up. And I hope everyone had a really great Halloween and you're doing okay and you're taking care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to Reanimator Remi- <laughs> Alright.